Welcome to this week's Wicked Wild Barbecue. Today we're going to slaughter a pig, which I'm not going to show you, but I am going to share with you the food from a Caribbean wake. And what we're going to prepare this week is a pork, barbecue pork, suskai. The suskai is a St. Lucian marination that generally goes very, very well with pork. Now the ingredients you'll need for that is as follows. Spring onions, seasoning peppers, coconut oil, celery, parsley, sea salt, and black pepper. So we stuff the banana leaf in here. So when he boils it to take the, the, the first hair off, the blood doesn't run out, so the blood stays inside the animal. Obviously there's a technique to it, which I haven't got. Um, Master Cleaver. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. I'm plucking it like this, right? And look at that. <laughs> Difference between the chef and the butcher. You know? <laughs> the family of her. Yep. Everybody yeah. at it. Nice and clean. The whole process took about uh, 45 minutes. Now they're going to remove the intestines to make the pudding. They have to be sanitized. And no smell. <laughs> so here they're separating all the lungs, the kidney, the liver, the heart, the intestines. The intestines now have to be clean. That's where, that's where you examine the liver. Yeah. Very nice number. Very nice number you examine the liver. And this is a gallbladder. That is a gallbladder. Gallbladder. Liver. Yeah. Remove, remove the gallbladder. Simple just. Grab it there. Pull it out. Pull it out. Very positive. Now the hat, if you notice, that hole there, that's where. That's why you had it right there. Right in the hat. Yeah. Call that an E. A. E. <laughs> so what are you moving out of the middle? Well, what am I moving there is dead blood. Yeah. Dead blood. And the heart is what goes inside the black pudding? No. No? What are you using that for? That's the heart, we use it, well, you chew it as well. It's chew it, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Nothing here goes in the black pudding. What do you use from that? I'll see if I can collect some fat on the side. That's what goes in the black pudding. Another fellow, uh, a shallow, another fellow chef, chef of mine, we worked together before, Simon. Yeah, my executive chef, uh, I'm my chef at the time. niece, nephew, <laughs> nephew, niece, and as you can see, uh, that's the S. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to season this with a few cuts, season it, and I'm going to roast it. We call it a roast. Seriously, mate? Seriously? <laughs> Pigs, innards all over inside my ear, you know? Jared! Thank you, brother. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> down and dirty. Can I, uh, can I use this sword then? You can. So, so this is a spice mix that I made up with uh, roasted garlic, so it's nice and crispy. Fried it, roasted them, fried it. Fried with a touch of pepper, chili flakes, cinnamon, cloves, and all this will be pounded and they go inside. And sea salt, inside this. Stop showing seasoning with ears. Yeah. Uh, you're going to buy it, you know? Yeah. Uh, roast. I'm going to... I get my little piece to cook because they got all the other stuff that I need. More importantly, here, it's about learning from me personally. So I just want to do one little thing. I'm, I'm going to salt this and uh, barbecue them. So really nice and crispy. Just cut the piece. 
And this is the pig ears. One of the ears of the pig. One of the ears. So what I'm doing, I season it with the salt, pepper, pepper, chili flakes, and I'm going to put it in this bonfire we have there. That's what we did. When I was a young boy, I can remember my granddad, who just passed away, he used to do this often. Roasting this every time he kills this total pig, he's going to roast this for us. Now there, I'm going to put this into the bonfire. When it's roasted, I'm going to get some water, wash it out, and I'm going to have it for a nice meal. So all out right now there, I'm about to put it in the bonfire and allow it to roast. So instead of putting it on a barbecue grill, it's going to roast into the bonfire. It's real local stuff we are doing here. Local cooking. In the West, we would call this dirty cooking, yeah? <laughs> this type of barbecue is dirty cooking. I like this here. Right now, I'm going to turn it over right now. So that it gets, don't get too burning. As you know earlier on, I mentioned that you are roasting the heads of the pig. Right now there, we are just going to have a taste of yeah, how it yeah, tastes. Yeah. Okay. This chef here is an executive chef. He has worked in many hotels before. At one time, I was one of his sushi. And today we are Thomas. He is in the Caribbean presently. And he's just learning something new from what our culture in the Caribbean. We have the black pudding, we have the pork where we butcher the pork, butcher the, the pig, and we roast part of it with the food, bl black pudding. This is the ears. Finger licking knife. Yeah. You see that? That's the exact one. If I don't interrupt him, he's gonna eat all the ear and he's teaching me and making me salivate and then he eats the whole damn thing. So, nice and tender. <laughs> I, would, I, would not I wouldn't say it's tender, but it is very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hot, my friend. There you go. Sis. Thank you. I got two. Oh. Yes. There you go. Cheers. <laughs> hey. Oh, nice one. Cheers. I thought there were two of them, honestly. <laughs> I'm keeping in the family, right? What are you cooking? Wings. So what do you what do you make? What do you put on that? What spice? Um, I'm not really sure if you're going to She didn't cook it. <laughs> well, she's just pretending she's like the chef, you know. She's coming to do a bit of grilling, working hard. I was like, I didn't, I didn't cook it, I didn't season it. <laughs> Alright, so sister in the back seasoned it. What, 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 what would you normally put on it? Garlic onion. Yeah. Garlic onion. Your sorry. Right. That's what you would put on it, right? Yeah. Right. Does it taste any good? Very much. <laughs> she can't say it's not anyway. To get beaten up. <laughs> Who's that, Rosa? Oh, Monica. Monica. Oh, Monica. She'll definitely get beaten up. Come. Come here, Don't want to mess with Monica. Come on, right how many in the family? It's like I'm forever introducing cousins and brothers. It <laughs> seems to be about plenty of them. You know, I don't know, 200 maybe. Wings and things. The air and chicken. My kind of day out. So Mikey's going to make some uh, barbecue pork and before he cuts it up, what's in this spice mix? What's in this spice mix? What's in this spice mix? The onion, garlic, pepper, onion, garlic, pepper, green seasoning. Green seasoning. So what's inside the green seasoning? The same thing. Um, celery, pepper, celery, onion, garlic, pepper. Celery, pepper, onions. Okay. And then you mix this with like uh, pepper and salt and adobe. Seasoning. So we call, it, we call it a suskai. A suskai. Okay. Comfort. A what? Comfort. <laughs> Comfort. Jeez. Right. 
Okay, I gotta put a big sensor on his ass. There you go, that's it. So, what are you gonna chop this up now? Yes, I'm gonna chop it up. All right, go ahead. Pop oil. Yeah. And afterwards, we roast and we put it inside of the sushi. The sushi. Okay. And then we will. Voila. All right, let's go. He's running after me already. I will stay on the back here. He's chopping it too big. I don't want it so big. That's precision aim right there, right there, right there. Precision aiming, sorry. Impressive. I was gonna bone it out. <laughs> next step. All right. What's next? You're still chopping. Still chopping. Yes. Okay, we're gonna turn this around. Go so, so nice and clean, then, right? Nice and clean. Come here, Ian. Hmm? Come this side. No, no, not with your cutters. Don't mind. Voila. Hold on to me. Hold on to this piece. Are you shooting me? Absolutely not. Hold on to this part. What, for you to swing your arm up and chop no, it? No, 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 no. Just hold on to it. Right. Not very trusting, am I? Eh? Okay, nice and sharp. I have always a respect for a man who has a sharp knife. That's the rip. Yes. My favorite part of the pork, aside from the tummy. Easy does it. <laughs> a madman with an axe. <laughs> My other brother from another mother. A madman with an axe. <laughs> So, Madman Mikey makes his black pudding and all things pork on a Friday in Tech Mon. Mm -hmm. Check him out. Alright ladies and gentlemen, our granddad passed away yesterday was the burial. Today we are having a family drink up. Every single person here right now. Right now we have Monica, Ian, Cleaver, Katie, Donna, Charlie, Oh boy, better than us, girl. <laughs> we have black shabin, and this is my auntie right here. We are having a good time. This type of than other past, we are having a wonderful time. So the pork is now boiled slowly for approximately one hour before they place it on the barbie. This is Suskai. This is what we were talking about earlier. And the sauce here. Um, the pork, once it's been barbecued and we get that nice charcoal barbecue flavor, it's going to be chopped up and we're going to add it to this beautiful sauce here. So basically, you take like that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Not spicy, but almost Caribbean flavors. Wow. This could be my corner for the day. So this is the pork that was uh, marinated, boiled, and then barbecued. 
and it's going to go into Suske here as I mentioned before. It's pouring down with rain. So Sherry's chopping that up for me. I can't wait to really really get my fingers in and have a nibble. You gotta pop that in there now? Look at the colours on that. Absolutely fantastic. Come back to buy more, that's all. Caribbean. Caribbean life. It's freezing down with rain. We're still all having fun with the rum. Don't forget to check out my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and also Wicked Wild Barbecues every Friday. That's four o'clock GMT every Friday. And next week, don't forget to check in because we have another episode, part two of this uh, week. So, Please subscribe by clicking here, right over my shoulder. And it's goodbye from me, and goodbye from the noisy Charles family.